happy with that. Yeah, good morning everyone. For those that are new to the channel, my name is Tane and welcome to a North Coast adventure. It's a beautiful morning here in the far north and uh, just out the front of home is glassy flat so I'm going to jump in the wetsuit again today and see if I can't go spare a fish or two. If not that's all good, we'll go see if we can see something cool out there, you never know. But um, before I go, I'm going to give a little rundown on the gear if anyone's wanting to get into it or unsure on the kind of gear setup you need for a mission like this or any similar missions then this is what I use. This, I start off with my gun, this is the Wetty Reef Pro 110 centimeter. It has one 16 mil rubber on there, you can put two 14 mil on it just to make it a little bit uh, easier to load. But that's matched with the snapper reel from Wetty as well. And we've got the Wetty Kevlar gloves. A little dive knife obviously we need the goggles a weight belt just to get me down uh, the wetty long fins has in the camo color but they have a range of different colors for those and I've got this brand new black knight five millimeter wetsuit as well that's also wetty they also come in three mil seven mil for those colder areas and um a range of different colors but yeah a range of different thicknesses for all those different temperatures but um this five mil right here will do me good all year round good for the winter not too hot in the summer if i'm doing long dives it'll keep me nice and warm but they've got a nice little um pocket there on the leg put your dive knife in just so it's easy to access and i've got the large weddy float boat as well and that just has a rope in there with an the anchor just so I can anchor it down if I don't want to tow it around but very handy pieces of kit all of this so if anyone's in the market or looking for some dive gear unsure on what kind of gear they want to get for these kind of missions then that stuff right there can be found on the Wetty website and if you need a hand hit those guys up and they'll definitely give you guys a hand so I'm going to suit up and uh Let's get ready to go get into it. I forgot to mention guys, these float boats right here. They are also very handy to put all your gear into. Until you get to your dive spot. And even if you guys are walking far. Or the dive spot is a little bit of a hike away. You can get straps that strap to these handles. And you can wear this as a backpack. So yeah, doubles as a backpack for all your gear if you are keen on that. Check out the Weddy website as well. So let's get into it. Suited up now. Just put the weight belt on. Got the gear here ready to go. So um, I'm pretty keen to get into it. The water's nice and calm. You can see this ledge right here. Once that tide comes in, it'll get deep over there, but for now I'll go out, swim out there a bit, and um, just follow that ledge along, it goes for, I don't know, a K or so that way, but um, yeah, we'll go see what we can see, we'll probably see some sharks today, but that's all good, as long as they don't try to eat me, <laughs> but um, that's us, we'll see you in the water. Once I get in, I'm treated by a big school of little blue mama and sweet. See black snapper, pottle there, in there. I see a little shark in the murk back there. And the viz isn't very good today. It's a little bit patchy, a little bit green. So I'm just looking out for any snapper or trevally. Taking my time. That viz is a bit 
uh, um, <coughs> it's a bit patchy, it's quite dirty in some areas. There's a few other spots though where it's a little bit cleaner, but um, I'm just going to go put a burly down, maybe a couple in two different spots, and um, see what we see. Don't muck around, I spit a little puddle there and I find a nice likely drop off where I think some snapper might be. And I start just shredding it up with the knife and it's just drifting over the edge. So once I'm finished shredding that up, I decide I'll leave it sit for 5-10 minutes and go for a little snoop and I actually come across this little kingfish. It was probably borderline legal. But um, yeah, not the size I'm after, so it was his lucky day. Very nosy little things when they're this size. But yeah, I'm hoping for one a little bit bigger than that. I carry along this drop off out in the murk. You can see a big stall of fish, so I make a dive down to the bottom, see if they can come in a little closer to me. Lots and lots of baby snapper, and um, this school is actually a big school of kahawai. There's just hundreds of them. Very cool sight. And sure enough, they come right in. Could have taken a shot, but I'm just soaking in the nice scenery. Loads and loads of fish. I didn't have my camera on on my next dive, but this nice big bronzy come in. Tried to tail him for a bit, but he was a bit camera shy. Nice little taupe or school shark. And, and it um, seems the further I've swum away from my first burley, there's actually a few more sharks this way. Nice big bronzies. They're just cruising around. I don't think they are looking for any trouble with me. They are quite placid. Another little one there. That one's actually towing a fishing line from his mouth. I go and make another dive back where I saw that big kahawai school and I, I thought this was them coming in but it's actually a big school of trevally and I'm just absolutely loving the sight of all these fish. Beautiful big school of trevally. I decide I'm going to let that school of fish do their thing and I'll go check on my burley first before I decide to shoot any trevally. So I'm back at the burley site and I'm just keeping an eye out, it's really murky here, the water's really stirring up over here from the current but I'm keeping an eye out and I can see a snapper hanging in the distance and he eventually comes closer, he's trying to sniff out the piece of black snapper below me and he makes a bad choice of coming a little bit too close and I managed to get a nice stone shot off on him which is pretty good because I didn't realize out there in the murk there's actually a big Monzuela shark I quickly pull him in Snapper man, got a nice stone shot on him. Yeah, boy. Saw this guy coming, turned the camera on, and he left. 
but he come back right in front of me and um this black camo suit eh? I don't think he saw me there but nice big snapper down so uh, I'll go chuck that in the float boat and we'll get back into it One down, see if we can get a couple more. So I'm back by the burley and I'm actually looking over and there's more snapper than there was the first time. There's actually quite a few snapper down there. There's a nice one just cruising, trying to find him a feed. A few pottle there down there. I'm just looking out, thinking if I should shoot another one or not, and I decide I'm gonna chum up some more of my pottle there and see how much snapper I can actually get in and see how quiet I can get them. Sure enough, these ones coming in, swooping up some of the free food. over the edge for them. Let's see this one comes in straight away. Oh legal snappers. And then before I know it they're swimming all over the place eating my burly and yep they are coming pretty close to me now which is pretty cool see some big ones hanging back there got a nice snapper right there it'll be at least 10 pound and this big stingray comes right in front of me almost touches my camera shows me a how big his tail is, so yep, I won't mess with you, buddy. And look at all these snapper, some good ones. That one has a bit of a damaged tail, so he's got a few missing scales on the base of his tail. But um, the plan worked. I just kept feeding that burly, and now they're not too worried about me. so many snapper in there man they're like coming right up to me just eating that burly coming right up to the surface I don't think I'll shoot any of these ones I've got that other one there's probably heaps of them here unless I see something great but um it's pretty cool just watching these snapper man They were a bit sketched out, a bit on edge when they first came in, but I just kept feeding them, kept feeding them that burly, and they eventually um, got nice and quiet. And now they're just eating in front of me, they're not too fussed about me. Too bloody good. Oh, they're still just swimming everywhere. I think I enjoy watching them more than I enjoy shooting them, to be honest. How cool is that? So they aren't always the flighty, 100% on edge fish all the time. If you do this and let them get a little bit used to you and 
not trigger happy on the first one you see then uh, you might be able to get them quite like this too look at that so many snapper and some decent ones they're all decent sized snapper but yeah there's a few bigger models in there how cool is that after watching those snapper for a good half an hour I decided I'm going to go closer into shore and try to pick up a trevally and I come across the school get a nice shot onto a little one I was just tapping my spear gun and that tends to attract those big schools of fish sometimes Decided I'll take a little one for sashimi. I'm back over the ledge looking over the edge of this reef, and sure enough, that big school of trevally is still there. Keeping an eye out to see if I can see any kingfish amongst them. Do a few taps on my spear gun. I keep an eye out. And sure enough. Uh, Nice king, he's heard the commotion and I see him just hanging back there in the murk he doesn't look too keen to come close to me I do a few different grunts and shake my spear gun and I manage to turn him and boom not the stone shot I was hoping for but looks like a good holding shot to a rip him in as fast as I can because I know those sharks will be on his tail in no time. He's going round and round, he's still fresh as a daisy and he tangles me up pretty good. Lucky it's shallow and I can get my feet to the ground. Get a big bear hug on him. Trying to get my hands into his gills and once they're in it's pretty much game over for the kingfish. Oh, I was just tapping my spear gun on those rocks. I saw them come in. Yeah, boy. I was just watching those trevally. I was just tapping my spear gun on those rocks just in case there was a kingy around somewhere. And sure enough, nice kingy. But he's he's a good fish pretty bloody wrapped with that so we've got one trevally a snapper a kingfish and um yeah boy been in the water for about an hour when i shot him i didn't really fight him or play him too much just because those sharks are around so i just ripped him in i saw i had a good holding shot so i didn't muck around just Dragged them right in, bear hugged them. Yeah, boy, sashimi tonight. A quick
quick knife into the back of the gills just to let all that blood out and the eating quality will be much better once you uh, bleed your fish and straight into the float boat And a bit of a tangle because I ripped him in so fast. But uh, yeah, he was pretty hurt. Load this bad boy up and we'll get back over that ledge. Yes. Back at the ledge and Sure enough, that Trevally school is still just chilling there, sitting in the current. Just waiting for one to come close enough. And I'll try to get a shot off. Dive down so I can hold on to these rocks. I'm just taking my time, I don't want to do a piss poor shot and have a fish rip off, so... Wait till I can line one up nice and good. Oh, almost. Boom. Get a nice stone shot off on this Trevally. And that's another beautiful eating little Trevally for the bin. Yeah, boy. can still see that school of trevallies hanging down there off the drop off so quickly load this gun again and try to get down there and shoot another one before I take them both into the float boat. of the spear gun to bring them in a little bit closer. The current's actually so strong here so I have to dive down and get a nice hold on to this rock. But I'm down there and just lining another one up, waiting for a nice clear shot. Here we go, boom. Get my shaft to another nice little Trevally. Rip him in real fast because he's going a bit nuts, this one. But how good is that? Another Trevally for the bin. Yeah, boy. Another couple of Trevally for the float boat. Not a bad haul so far. <laughs> Dying down a bit now. Clearly sharks around still though. Oh, got a few fish there on my head and 
call it a morning. Had a bloody good morning though. Three chabelli, snapper and a kingy. Could have shot heaps of more but no need for that. Just need enough for feed. But yeah, my head in and see you back in on shore. Look after the float boat, which he's done me good the last few years. What a bloody good morning in the water. Check this out. Yeah boy. Three nice little trevally. A nice size snapper and a pretty decent kingfish so Pretty over the moon with how that went. Be eating fish the next few days like every other week <laughs> but nah that's alright never get sick of it eh but um yeah I'll hold up these two bigger fish really bloody happy with that but uh, I don't know at least 10 kilo kingy and a nice little I don't know 10 pound snap 8 pound snap it's gonna be bloody good chopping and chewing So it's time to head home now guys, maybe we'll go back and we'll chuck this fish on some ice and maybe you'll see me in the kitchen later, we'll do a bit of a, a raw fish or ceviche as they call it, but uh, that's us, we'll go back get out of this wetsuit and you'll see me later. Back home now guys, that fish has been chilling down for a few hours now, the meat's nice and set. Um, we've got some of the little trevally pellets there and a slab of that um, kingfish. I'm going to use this for a little bit of a raw fish, a ceviche I think they call it. And I'll use that little trevally for a little bit of a sashimi. But um, the ingredients I'm going to need is a couple of tomatoes, an onion, stuff right there some wasabi salt this is the coconut cream i use the cutter one is also good the other ones are a little bit watery and not as coconutty but some lemon juice some soy and some sweet soy and your favorite pack of corn chips but um i'm gonna get into the um ceviche first the, the raw fish and then we'll finish it off with some sashimi I'm just going to start off by dicing up this kingfish. Put these to the side. And slice up this kingfish. So we've got the fish all diced up for the raw fish I'm going to just grab the lemon juice and I'm going to sprinkle a bit of this give a generous sprinkle of lemon juice all over this fish and what that's going to do, the acid in the lemon is going to slightly cook that fish and while that's sitting, doing its thing We'll slice up the tomato and the onion and we'll add that in. So we'll let this sit for a bit and we'll slice up these other bits and bobs and then 
it doesn't take too long before you have your finished product. I'm sure everyone knows how to slice up onion and tomato, so I'll speed this bit up. So yep, you've got your tomato, your onion, and your fish there. See that lemon's already started to, to cook that kingfish. It's starting to turn white. Oh, and how cool is that snapper chopping board? You can mix this all in now. You can also add in any other, any other greens that you guys like or I see I know some people add in capsicum and cucumber. You can even put apple in if you want. Whatever you fancy really. It's mixed in. Time to add the coconut cream. You can also add full um, normal cream if you guys like, but my missus really likes this coconut cream one, so better make her happy. And that's real good. There's a bit of a staple in my diet. I have it every few days. So chuck in two cans of that. You can do a bigger mix. And make the ratios a little bit bigger if there's a few more of these. But this will last me and my... We've got that all mixed in with the coconut cream. Time to add the secret ingredient. A bit of salt. I give it quite a good generous sprinkle. So you can actually taste the salt. And um, that should be good. Mix it in a little bit more. Okay, that salt's mixed in. Taste test time. The spoon's a bit big, but. Mmm. So good, I think I better test it one more time. Mm. Okay, better not get carried away. Damn, that is good. Okay, I've got the got the raw fish done. I'm gonna cut up these little trevally fillets and make it a little bit of a sashimi. Slice up these beautiful little trevally fillets. We're gonna cut them into nice little thin strips, and we'll chuck them on this plate. So just like that, we've got all our trevally fillet on the plate nicely. I've left a little gap there in the middle of the plate. Now the next step, I'm going to put a little dollop of this in the middle there. I like to leave a little gap for the dipping sauces. So we'll chuck a little bit of wasabi on there. You don't have to add wasabi if you don't like the spice. But um. Dots of it around there. Just like that. The next thing I'm going to chuck on is some of this, just, I don't know, normal soy sauce. Just the standard stuff. Just going to put a little bit of this all around it. Like that. Then the next one, I've got some of this sweet soy. You don't have to add, and you can add, add whatever sauces you guys want, really. But this is what I'm going to add today. Just going to put a little drizzle of this around. Just like that. And the next thing I'm going to 
just put a little drizzle of lemon juice on there a couple of little drops around so that not too much I want to cook it heaps now this is when the Doritos come into it the, the corn chips you guys can use whatever flavour corn chips you like putting a few corn chips on a plate you guys don't have to add corn chips if you want you can eat the raw fish just straight with a, a spoon or whatever but it's pretty good with corn chips I must say just put some of this in there Just like that. Yeah, if you guys haven't tried these recipes out, I suggest you give it a go because damn is it good. Check it out. We've got our raw fish or ceviche, nachos, whatever you want to call it. Here's the raw fish there. And our trevally sashimi. And that's going to be dinner in about 10 minutes. So I'm going to pack all this up. Get this stuff in the fridge, keep it nice and chill just until I'm ready to eat dinner, but how good. What a bloody good day guys, that was too bloody good man. I'm absolutely wrapped with how that went. Shot a nice kingfish this morning, some nice little trevally and a snapper. And that should last me the whole week really for fish. But um, it's all on a plate now, ready to eat, so I'm going to wrap that up there. And uh, stick around, there'll be more episodes every Monday. And um, if you guys enjoyed this one, I'd appreciate if you gave us a thumbs up and a subscribe. And we'll see you out there on the next North Coast adventure. Cheers guys.